Well, we are here doing more equivalent equations we are not solving, which I am dying to do, but we're just going to clean this up, make it a little bit neater, and that's your first step when solving equations. So all you're going to do is combine like terms to get it more simplified. So all I'm going to do on the left-hand side first is see what I have like, which I do have two things alike. We have the 3x, and we also have the 5x's. We can combine those because they are like terms. And if you're not familiar with like terms, make sure you check out the playlist on combining like terms. And we're just going to add those two together. 3 plus 5 is 8, and those are x's. So we have 8 x's. Now the minus 7 is not combinable at this point with anything on that side. So we're going to leave just that. That is your simplified version on the left-hand side. Now we're going to go over into the right-hand side, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look for like things. I see a 6x, but I don't see any other x's. So x is all by itself, just six of them. By itself, you can't combine anything. But you can combine the one and the two because those are combinable. They're constants. So one plus two is three. And that's all I'd have to do for this type of a problem. And that's an equivalent equation. Of course, you can go ahead and solve it if you know how to do that. And if not, that's okay too. But if you do know, let me know in the comments what you think the answer is for that. Now we're going to go over here to this one. A little bit different, we do have to multiply because that is saying 10 sets of x plus 4. So what you're going to do is the distributive property. 10 times x is 10x. And then we do the same thing, 10 times 4, which is 40. And that is equal to 60. 60 has nothing on that side, so I can't combine that with anything. The left-hand side, I can't combine together either because there's x's and there's constants. So those two things cannot be added together to get 50. So you have x's and you just have the number 40. And that's all you can do. That is an equivalent equation. Again, if you understand how to do solving, let me know in the comments what the x value represents. And don't forget to like, share, follow me for more. This is going to be located in my equivalent expressions equations section of my playlist. And make sure you save this for later. And I'll see you soon.